In this video, we're going to talk about how to multiply matrices together. So let's say we're given matrix A, which is 3, 1, 4, and we're going to multiply that by matrix B, which is 4, 2, 6, 3, 5, 8. So how can we multiply matrix A by matrix B? Well, first, let's talk about the size of the matrix. So you need to be familiar with rows and columns. Rows are horizontal. Columns are vertical. So what is the size of the first matrix, matrix A? Matrix A has one row, but it has three columns. So matrix A is a one by three matrix. It has one row, three columns. Matrix B has three rows, one, two, three, and it has two columns, one, two. So it's a three by two matrix. When you're multiplying matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix has to equal the number of rows in the second matrix, which those two numbers are the same, so we can multiply A and B. If those numbers are different, we can't multiply these two matrices. Now what about these other two numbers? What do they tell us? Once we multiply matrix A and matrix B, the resultant matrix that we get will have one row and two columns. So let's go ahead and multiply those two uh, matrices. So what you need to do is you need to take the numbers in the first row of uh, matrix A and then multiply it by the numbers in the first column of matrix B. So let's make some extra space. So we're going to multiply 3 by 4. So let me write that down. And then it's going to be 1 times 2. and then 4 times 6. So 3 times 4 is 12, and then we have plus 2, and then 4 times 6 is 24. So if we add those numbers, this will give us 38. Now, since we multiplied the first row by the first column, this result goes in the first row, first column entry. Now let's multiply the first row by the second column. So that result will go in the first row, second column. So we're going to multiply 3 by 3, which is 9, and then 1 by 5, which is 5, and then 4 times 8, which is 32. 9 plus 5 is 14, 14 plus 32 is 46. So that's going to go in the first row, second column. And thus, this is our answer. So as you can see, we have one row, but we have two columns. So the resultant matrix is a 1 by 2 matrix. Now, what about multiplying B by A instead of A by B? Can we do that? Is it possible to multiply matrix B first and then by matrix A? Well, let's look at the size of the two matrices. Matrix B is a 3 by 2 matrix. And we're going to multiply it by matrix A, which is a 1 by 3 matrix. Notice that the columns in the first matrix doesn't equal the number of rows in the second. So because these two numbers are different, we cannot multiply these two matrices in this order. So we can multiply A by B, but we can't multiply B by A. So the order in which you multiply two matrices together is very important. Now let's work on another example. So let's say that matrix A is 3, 4, 7, 2, 5, 9. And let's say that matrix B 
is 315697. So can we multiply matrix A by matrix B? What would you say? So matrix A has three rows and it has two columns. So it's a three by two matrix. Now matrix B has two rows and it has three columns. So it's a two by three matrix. So because these numbers are the same, we can multiply matrix A by B. And the order of the matrix that we're going to get, so the size of matrix AB will be a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's go ahead and get the answer. So we're going to multiply the first row by the first column. So we're going to multiply 3 by 3 which is 9, and then it's going to be 4 times 6, which is 24, and so this adds up to 33. So we, we're going to get a 3 by 3 matrix, and this result is going to be in the first row, first column. Now let's move on to the next one. So now we're going to multiply the first row by the second column, so that entry will be here in the first row, second column. So we're going to multiply 3 by 1, which is 3, plus 4 times 9, which is 36. 36 plus 3 is 39. Next, let's multiply the first row by the third column. And so we have 3 times 5, which is 15, and then 4 times 7, which is 28. And so 5 plus 8 is 13, plus 20, that's 33, plus 10, that's 43. So that's going to go in the first row, third column. So now let's move on to the second row, first column, which will place that entry there. So we have 7 times 3, which is 21. And then it's 2 times 6, which is 12. 21 plus 12 is 33. Next, second row, second column. We'll place that entry there in the second row, second column. So we have 7 times 1, so that's 7. And then 2 times 9, which is 18. 7 plus 18 is 25. So hopefully at this point, you're seeing a pattern on how to multiply these matrices. Basically, you're multiplying the row by the column. So row 2 times column 3, that's going to be 7 times 5, which is 35. And then we have 2 times 7, which is 14. And so that, that adds up to uh, 49. Now, one thing I do want to mention before I continue is that for those of you who want more problems on matrices, like let's say if you want to add or subtract matrices, or if you want to find the inverse of a 2x2 two two or a 3x3 three three matrix, or if you want to find the determinant of a matrix, check out the links in the description section below in this video. And so I'm going to have some more resources for you uh, if you're interested. Now, let's get back to this problem. So now let's multiply the third row by the first column. And so that entry will go here. So we have 5 times 3, which is 15. And then we have 9 times 6, which is 45. No, 9 times 5 is 45, rather. 9 times 6 is 54. So this is going to be 69. Next, we have row 3 times column 2. And so this is going to be 5 times 1, which is 5. And then it's going to be 9 times 9, which is 81. 
And so that's going to add up to 86. Next, we have row 3 times column 3. And so we have 5 times 5, which is 25. And then it's 9 times 7, which is 63. So 25 plus 63, that's 88. And as you can see, we have a 3 by 3 matrix. We have 3 rows, and we have 3 columns. So now you know how to multiply one matrix by another matrix. And that's basically it. So that's all I got for this video. If you like it, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to check out the other videos in the description section of this video. Thanks for watching.